from today, we're gonna study Korean language. Nice to meet you. My name is Song Wan, and I'm an author of this book, Korean Grammar for Speaking. So, the title sounds a little, you know, difficult, but it's not. It's focused on speaking, so it's gonna be really easy and fun. So, from now on, I'm going to record my teaching videos. Are you ready? All right. So if you see unit one, you're going to see Hangul. What's Hangul? Hangul is the Korean form of writing. Right. So characters. Like in English, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? They are Hangul in Korean. So, there are consonants and vowels. We don't need to know what consonants are, what vowels are. What we just need to know is those two kind of things are, they exist. So, uh, in English, you guys have like G, N, D, L, R, stuff like that, right? And then also you guys have A, I, O, U. So it's like if G meets A, how does that sound? In English or Korean? In English. Oh, uh, ga. Right? So G and A, ga, right? And D and O, what is it? Do, something like that. So they should meet together so then they can uh, make a new sound, right? So Hangul is exactly like that too. So we're going to have to memorize how G looks like, how N looks like, D looks like, okay? So if you see unit 1, page 10, you're going to see those letters. Can you? All right, so we need to memorize them, but how do we memorize them faster? All right, as a default, please memorize this ah sound. Please look at the ah letter and memorize how it looks like. And the sound, obviously, it makes ah sound. So that is the default letter. And we're gonna conjugate it to those G, N, D, L, M, B, S. So we're gonna start from G. As you can see there, there are letters G, N, D, L, M, B, S, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's conjugate it. G, N, A, ka. N, N, A. Na. Na. Next one, ta. ta. La. Da. Ma. Na. Pa. Da. Sa. Sa. Mm? And the circle one, it doesn't have a sound, so we just want to attach that ah. So we want to read it as ah. Uh. And J and A. Cha. 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 Ka. Ka. Ta. Ta. Pa. Ta. Ha. Ha. Right. Uh, you're probably bored just memorizing these old letters that you have never seen before, right? So, to memorize this faster, we want to sing a song. What song? In English, think about when you were little, like how did you memorize this L A B C stuff? Do you know how to sing A B C song? Yeah. Can you do it a little for me? A B C D E F G. Just like that, right? It was like. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that was it. 
and we want to just put this into Korean letters. So it's like Kanadara Mavasa Aja Chakata Paha. So then you memorize the sound. And later on, you can just practice writing at the same time you're singing. You're singing. <clears throat> okay? So, please memorize this sound. Please repeat after me. Kanadara. Mabasa. Aja chaka. Tapaha. Right. So, you can see the book and then sing the song in Korean. Please do it. Nice. You're a good singer. All right. So now you memorized the sound. Then later on, you can just write them down at the same time you sing, okay? All right, and there are some strong letters that are doubled. They are not exist in English. So when we pronounce these doubled letters, we just want to make the sound a little stronger than normal, all right? So let's try to read G G A. Ka. Ka. It's not K sound, right? So ka. Right. Ka. Perfect. You don't have to. Uh, I mean, you can just try to mimic me. And then think about when I say, oh, right, that sound. Then you need to think about where your tongue goes, how you made that sound from your inside, from your throat. Okay? All right. And next one, D, D, A. Da. Perfect. Da. Please memorize where you, how you used your tongue and your throat and your mouth. Next one, B, B, A, ba. ba. Nice, ba. Next one, double S and A, sa. sa. Perfect, sa. Next one, double J and A, ja. ja. Good, please repeat after me. Ka, ka, ta, ta, pa, pa, sa, sa, cha. Ja. Ja. Correct. Nice. So this is how you pronounce doubled letters in Korean. Good job. And next one, you need to memorize this too. Aya oyo. So I would recommend to memorize this four letters each. So four letters as a set. So then you can memorize faster. Let's practice. Please repeat after me. Aya oyo. Aya oyo. Oyo uyu. E. Perfect. That's it. Right? It only takes like 30 minutes. Oh, sorry. 30 seconds to memorize this. But here's a tip. All right. So the little point, there is a little point, right? Ah, one point. And yeah, there are two points. Do you see them? So when there are two points, no matter if it this side or this side, always Y is at it. 
the letter Y in English is added. So, a, uh, one point, two point, ya, why is it it, right? O, yo, why is it? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Good. So, think like, oh, if there are two points, then you should add y and read it. So, it's like this, a, uh, ya, o, yo. O yo u yu. O yo yo Perfect. So the letters that we studied, like G and D L stuff, and with this I O Y O stuff, you can make sound, right? Use anything you want, to, like com combine them. Just like in English, like D O or L A, stuff like this, okay? All right, the next page, there is, there are some exercises. So I made every letter empty so then you guys can trace and feel in the letters, so then you guys can practice more. Okay, please read them for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna read and please repeat after me. Kanatara. Ma ba sa. Ma ba sa. A ja cha ka. A ja cha ka. Ta pa ha. Ta pa ha. Good. And if you sing a song with these letters, you're gonna be able to memorize them all. And stronger sounds too, we can practice. Uh, making stronger sound and let's practice. Let's try to read some words from now on Okay, please see practice part and then read them the first one. Can you read it? Gachi Get next one Da da, perfect. Next. Oppa, right? Next one. Sada. 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 Mm -hmm. The last one. Appa. Appa, perfect. So you don't need to know what the words mean for now. What you have to know now is if you practiced, sorry, if you pronounced them right. And then you can check uh, if you did right watching this video. Okay? All right, so Korean grammar for speaking, unit one, reading Hangul part is now finished. Do you have any questions? Um, no. No, okay, good. So next time, we're going to study unit two and make sure that you can read Hangul correctly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.